Welcome to managerial accounting. You know, managerial accounting may sound like regular accounting, but it's slightly different. And so we're going to take a look, very first thing, at the difference between financial accounting and managerial accounting. If you look at the slide, you can see that there are significant differences between financial accounting and managerial accounting. For example, in number one, users. The people who use financial accounting are external users. So this is the um, uh, annual reports that we send to uh, the SEC and get posted online for companies and other uh, market participants, the people who are trading stocks and so on on companies, look at these financial reports, as well, of course, as our taxes. We send to the IRS our financial statements um, as companies, and they will be looked at as external to the um, company. Managerial accounting, on the other hand, is used internally. It's for managers who plan and control an organization. So what we're going to be looking at in this class is not creating financial statements for the external world to view our company, but rather internally inside the company to be able to make better decisions. Also, the time focus is different. If you see in the slide, it says the historical perspective is on financial statements. In other words, we're looking at what we have done in the past and we're reporting it. In financial statements in managerial accounting, or in uh, managerial accounting, the time focus is on future emphasis. How do I make a decision about the future and what I should do? What should I price this pro uh, project or uh, product at? Um, should I, um, uh, how should I uh, separate production into different uh, jobs? So these are all um, future decisions, which is the difference between financial accounting and managerial accounting. Number three is verifiability versus relevance. Um, the emphasis in financial accounting is on objectivity and verifiability. The outside world should see exactly the same view as the inside world in your financial statements. In managerial accounting, is the, element, is the um, uh, emphasis is on relevance. The relevance is very important for the internal use of the company. Is this information relevant? If it's not, we don't need it. We only need relevant information from our managerial accounting statements. Uh, number four is precision versus timeliness. In the external environment, in financial statements, we have to be very precise. We have to account for every dime and every bit of inventory. Inside, it's much more about timeliness. I need to make a decision on how many workers show up to work tomorrow, which means I need to make a decision on how many products we're going to build tomorrow, and so I need to know right now. It doesn't matter if I'm a little bit off, I can adjust. What really matters is that I make a decision right now on how many workers we're going to have tomorrow, or how many uh, products we're going to produce, or what I should price a product that I'm selling right now to a customer right in front of me. So these managerial accounting decisions are instantaneous and sometimes very timely, like I have to know right now, whereas financial statements are, uh, they certainly have time restrictions on them, but they're uh, a part of being very precise. They must be precise. Uh, in addition, another difference is the subject. Uh, the primary focus on uh, f uh, financial accounting is company-wide reports. Um, in managerial accounting, we will break it down into individual segments and into individual managers. So a production line manager would have his own managerial accounting reports for what his production line is doing. In financial statements, we combine all of them. In managerial accounting, we break them into pieces. In addition to the rules, the rules uh, for financial statements are governed by uh, the governing bodies of uh, GAAP or um, the IFRS, which is the international version of the accounting standards, whereas the managerial accounting standards are all internal. We don't ex they're not external reports, so we can do them any way we want. We can do them very quickly and uh, um, haphazardly if we wanted to, or we can uh, put a lot of elaboration into it to get very precise uh, accounting, um, managerial accounting statements, uh, but we're trying to make decisions such as price and how much volume we should produce and uh, how much profit this will result in and uh, produce uh, future looking statements. So we could be a little more uh, loose on them and we certainly don't have a national or international standard that's telling us exactly how we have to do these things. Um, also, the requirement for external reports is mandatory. Obviously, you have to file your taxes. You're going as a public company, you'd have to file uh, your financial statements with the SEC and so on. Uh, in internally, we don't have to do managerial accounting at all. We could just, uh, in fact, small businesses don't do quote managerial accounting. They just ad adapt and move forward with 
uh, whatever pricing they think they can come up with or whatever uh, volume and other discounts they can. So um, it's not mandatory at all to do manager accounting in a company, but as you will see in the following segments, it is crucial to being profitable. So that's an overview of the difference between financial statements and managerial accounting uh, statements and uh, those where we'll be concentrating on our managerial accounting in this class.